Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Chris here today, and we are going to unbox uh, uh, another box of cigars. This one here I've been super excited about getting into. Uh, I've actually got two that I'm really excited about looking into, and I've been keeping them uh, all kind of closed up in its original packaging uh, for, oh gosh, probably probably a good year and year and six months, year and eight months, something like that. So about a year and a half, maybe a little longer, and um, and uh, just been super excited to get into these guys, and I thought there's no better time like the present. Um, kind of want to smoke one of these, so that's kind of the reason why I want to get into it. Um, and it's such, been such a beautiful, uh, beautiful summer uh, days out, and the patio is just great for cigars and scotch, and. Uh, I was talking to a couple of my buddies there, and um, and they were like, "You've got this cigar, damn! Why aren't why haven't you opened this yet? Like, we got to get into this." And I'm like, "Yeah, you're right." Uh, so I thought I would do an unboxing with you guys, and then uh, I'm gonna go and enjoy these with a couple of friends of mine. But I'm also going to add it to this guy here, so you're gonna get one of them too. So. Uh, cannot forget about you guys. You guys are, are my friends too, so I look after my friends. And um, I should do a watch check here. We are wearing the uh, Ferrari watch that my good buddy of mine who works uh, for Ferrari uh, in Italy, he's uh, an engineer. Uh, he used to be on the design team for the F2000 for Rubens Barrichello and Michael Schumacher. Uh, and then he went into uh, um, engineering the road cars. So, uh, so he's still still kind of doing that. Um, more on the, uh, the management side of things now. So, but anyway, uh, this is this is the Ferrari watch that uh, that Andy sent me. So, really appreciate that. I just love this watch. Um, and I did a full review on it. So, uh, please go and check that out. I, I, might, I don't. If you've been watching any of my videos, you know I'm a big watch guy as well. So I'm going to do a whole bunch of watch reviews. I've got a few on there right now, but there's so much more to go. But uh, anyway, this is the cigar we are going to look at. The Scorpion by Camacho and the Davidoff Group. And this is the Connecticut and the Gordo. This is a big-ass cigar. I think this is one of the biggest cigars that I have not sure I think it's the same size as the ogre and I've only got one ogre um, in my personal one but here I have uh, 10 of these guys so uh, soon to be uh, less than 10 but let us open it up with uh, once again my trusty uh, awesomeness 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 knife it's awesome you're gonna like this uh, knife if you if anyone who's ever had one, but this is the Lynx from Delta 7 gear and my good buddy who is now the commercial helicopter pilot Alexander Forsyth Beautiful beautiful knife nice tonto blade super crazy sharp. I'm gonna open this off camera because um, I Did cut myself once uh, doing it on camera being the klutz that I am and uh, just touched myself with that blade and it, it uh, cut me pretty good. Not enough to need stitches, but it was a good cut. So, anyway, um, yeah, there is a seal here, so we'll cut through that as well. Um, read that there together. Oh, it's upside down. Here we are. It's just basically imported tobacco from Honduras. Nice. I think that was that was it. All right. And put this uh, knife back there so I don't cut myself. And let's open this up together. So here we go. Ta-da! Oh my God! Look at that. Okay. Look at the size of those things. Good Lord. That's insane. That's what the inside of the box looks like here as well. Wow, this is my 
Newfie, Newfie friends would say, Lard Tundra and Jesus. Holy cow. Like, look at that, eh? That's a cigar. I can hold that like a man. Ah, you look like an old mobster there with one of these things. One of those gang, gang mobsters from the, uh, from the 20s. Like, good lord. Like, I've got an 8-inch wrist. You know, not huge hands, but not little hands either. But, like, look at the size of that bad boy. Like, that is... That's huge. I don't think I've ever smoked one this big before. In fact, I know I haven't. The biggest cigar I've ever smoked was a uh, 6x60. And that was the uh, CAO Flathead uh, and a Brick House. Uh, the Mighty Mighty Majuro. But holy cow. This is a big ass cigar. People are going to take notice of you sitting there, like, you know, hanging out there with your cigar and uh, being all cool. That's a nice looking cigar. That's an, an important guy's looking cigar. But anyway, uh, enough about me talking about how cool a cigar is. But look at Jesus, that just. <laughs> like you can make lightsabers out of these things. Now you probably go into battle. If someone hit you in the head with this thing, you probably need to go to a hospital. Like, good God. Let's see here. This is an F16 bullet <laughs> this is the Camacho cigar it's bigger than a bullet from an F-16 I don't think it's bigger than the bullet from uh you know it's definitely not bigger than my A-10 this is the bullet from an A-10 uh, the reason why I have these bullets here in my bar is I had a job offer to actually go fly an A-10 uh and this is the size of that so and um so that's why I've got the A-10 I just absolutely love the A10, and uh, and then and I've got the F16 because I got to fly an F16 simulator for with the actual squadron in uh, Minnesota, and um, for an hour and a half, and I got to fly it uh, for a half an hour of that hour and a half with uh, with two of the pilots from the squadron, and um, what an airplane to fly, just a. Oh, the thing flies like a peach. Like, man, it is so incredibly responsive. When I, I remember when I first got into the thing, and it was a sea simulator, so it doesn't move around like uh, the simulator in in, uh, uh, in the airlines, like uh, the ones that are Canada. We have D, D simulators that kind of move up and down on jacks. Uh, this is a sea simulator because you can't roll uh, um, uh, a D simulator or you'll just wreck it. But a sea simulator, you can certainly do that. And, and, and we had a sea simulator for the Pilatus when I was down in Orlando and did uh, um, simulator training on that. But, oh, my God. And, you know, normally you're, you know, you're flying along, doo -doo 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 -doo, and, uh, and then the plane that I was flying at the time, um, you know, you pull up and the plane's like that, you know, and you're, you're taking off normally. Uh, with this F-16, the thing just went, and away it went. And, uh, and then... And then it was spinning as it was going up. It was just like straight up and started to turn like that. And then I pushed pushed it forward to, to stop the the the, um, the ascent. And and I just went like that. And I just about got airsick. It was crazy. Uh, and it took me a couple. I don't know, probably about four or five minutes to figure out the whole airplane and how to fly it properly and uh, and get a really good handle of it. And then it was just a, an absolute joy to fly. Uh, so that's why I have uh, the F-16 um, bullet uh, beside the A-10. Uh, two airplanes that are kind of, um, that I have, one that I have some experience in and one that I could have had a, a lot of experience in. So uh, anyway, that was that. But let's get to this cigar. This is an incredible cigar. This is bigger than the bullet from an F-16. That is freaking nuts. But uh, what a... What a cool looking cigar. Let's zoom in on that. There we go. So cool. And my wife's a Scorpio too, so I think she'd like those ones. She doesn't smoke, but that's okay. She's pretty cool. But anyway, um, this is the uh, the Camacho Scorpion, and it's a Connecticut Gordo. It is seven inches long, 70 on the ring gauge, um, medium actually on the strength, 
and uh, um, a natural color, and, uh, and it's right out of Honduras. Um, if any of these uh, um, kind of flavor profiles kind of change, uh, I will definitely let you know. I have not had any experience with this guy. I have had experience with other Camachos, um, but nothing this, not, not this guy here. So uh, if, uh, yeah, like I said, if anything changes here, uh, I, this, this afternoon, I will definitely let you know. Um, the wrapper itself is in Ecuadorian Connecticut. Uh, binders right out of Nicaragua and the filler is a Nicaragua and a Honduran. And uh, yeah, it says right out of the Davidoff group. So you know, um, this is gonna be great. And anything I've had from Camacho has been nothing but stellar. Like top, top, top notch cigars. Uh, but you wouldn't expect anything less from, from the Davidoff group. Um, from what I've heard, the draw is nice and nice and clear. Uh, Prelate uh, is is good. Uh, uh, lots of sweet tobacco on it. Uh, some barnyard kind of smell to it. Like I'm just smelling it here now. And yeah, it's uh, you can definitely smell the sweet tobacco on it, and and a bit of that barnyard um, uh, smell to it, you know. Uh, but also. Um, kind of the it smells like that cut grass but like more like that cut hay but but in in the fall you know when you, you the, you're in the farmer's field um and i grew up in the country so i you know farms all over the place my mom and dad both grew up on farms um and uh i've got a lot of experience kind of hanging around a farm i worked on a farm for one summer and uh um and I had a lot of fun there. It was it was good. Lots of lots of funny, crazy ass stories on the farm there. But um, so yeah, it has that that fall kind of cut hay, hay kind of smell to it as well. Uh, but definitely the barnyard barnyard smell with but in the background. But you can definitely smell that that really sweet sweet tobacco uh, on it. Um, and uh, they say is it's supposed to have like a really nutty woody. Um, a flavor profile to it, super creamy, kind of a biscuit type of uh, um, a flavor on it with some uh, with some light spice kind of sitting in the background. But uh, if any of that changes, I will definitely update you on that uh, because this has been sitting in my humidor, like I said, for just over a year and a half. So uh, it should mellow out, and some of those flavor profiles may definitely. Um, they could change. So if anything does change, I will do uh, an update on that for you. But uh, yeah, so let's uh, get you a brand spanking new one here that I haven't been uh, touching or anything like that. Oh, look at that. Hey, that's just, that's so cool. I used to have a black emperor scorpion uh, named Mick and uh, snuck him into the house and my mom, <laughs> a lot to my mom, she goes, that's not real, is it? Oh no. No, it's not, Mom. It's a, it's a toy. It's just a, just a plastic toy. And she thought, mm, okay. And, uh, I mean, I would have questioned, like, why am I bringing home a, like a 16-year-old kid bringing home a plastic toy scorpion? You're probably above that at that point in that age. But anyway, um, Mom believed it until she went downstairs uh, to put clothes in my room. And that plastic toy was in an aquarium and it was walking around and that was the last time she was in there uh to put stuff in my room which was great um because uh um my room was a pigsty as i'm sure most kids teenage kids as were and uh, uh so i would come home from school or from work and you know when i was uh that age uh, i was uh, pumping gas at the uh at the petro canada station um, and, uh, you come home and then you couldn't find anything because you had crap all over your room and uh, you're like, I know where my stuff is, like my whatever, um, say my, um, um, I don't know, shoes were underneath my, uh, underwear and my pants and the, uh, junk on the floor and then you go to get it and you're like oh where the hell is it well i put it away i cleaned up your room so anyway with a scorpion in there mom didn't go back to my room anymore so that was good 
Uh, not that I didn't mind having a nice clean room, I just couldn't find anything after dear old mom was in there. But uh, let's get this beautiful Camacho Scorpion Connecticut Gordo. God damn it, that's a gorgeous cigar. Into your humidor. So here we are. Nice tight fit on this humidor. It's just, it's perfect. The humidity on, on this thing here is a nice constant 69%. Sitting in my... Uh, my uh, my humidor just ready to go for you guys. So let's put this guy in there. Holy crap! It's just this thing. <laughs> you're gonna see it. This thing dwarfs everything in there. And I thought I thought the the Widowmaker was a was a big cigar, but it is just a tiny little thing next to next to that. Holy cow! Wow, that's cool. This is. We are working on a very cool looking uh, humidor here for you guys for my 1,000 subscribers. Uh, let's take a quick peek and, and uh, run down what we've got in here once again. Um, this is the Chillin' Moose. Really, really, really beautiful cigar. You're going to really enjoy them. You're going to really like all of these ones here. Uh, this is the E.P. Carrillo uh, Torpedo uh, Pyramid uh, Oscaro. And an Alec Bradley Gatekeeper. This is... Like, look at how incredibly oily this gorgeous, gorgeous cigar is. It looks like a piece of chocolate, like you'd want to eat it. But uh, I don't think it would taste very good. But boy, does it ever taste good when you light it up. And this is the Gurkha Widowmaker. But oh, geez, that, that, was the, that was the biggest one in there. But now this is just a little guy. Uh, the La Aurora 115. Another beautiful, beautiful cigar. You're really going to enjoy this one. And this one here is the uh, lots of plumes of blue smoke, <laughs> kind of like a, a when a Spitfire starts up, you know, you get all that smoke kind of puffing out of the back end of it. That's what this cigar is. But man, is this ever a flavorful cigar! This is the John Bull, the Dark Hour, and then the Monte Cristo Platinum, the Particus Sifuente. Another beautiful cigar. Look how look crazy oily that Majora wrapper is on it. Man, like that is that's gorgeous. And here is the HC series from um, Zycar. Really, really, really nice cigar. I love the band on this one here too. And then. This gigantic monster of a cigar. Wow. What an impressive looking thing this thing is. Like it is. Wow. Just all I can say is wow. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, guys. Uh, for a chance to win uh, this humidor once we get to 1,000 subscribers. And if we can get to 1,000 subscribers before this guy's full, I'm totally going to do another humidor. But I'm going to do one with totally different cigars in it. So, it, like, the last ones we did, they were twins, pretty much. Uh, this, the other two would be completely different. So, uh, if we can't get to 1,000 before this guy's full, uh, that's okay. Uh, someone's gonna win this one they're gonna love it anyway but if we can get to it then we can give away two and make two people happy instead of one but for a chance to win this guy all you got to do is like my videos and subscribe to my channel and all this can be yours if the price is not right because it's gonna cost you anything all you got to do is like and subscribe for a chance to win it that sound like a radio host Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Have a great day. We'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.